Hiker John. That's it. No, no, a trail name has to be more unique than that. Like, um, like tree legs. Tree legs? Yeah, maybe I'll be really good at climbing trees or something. Yeah, maybe. It's like a whole new world out there on the trail. You know, you have a new name and everything. Oh, I got mine. Beef jerky. <laughs> more like oatmeal cream pie. <laughs> Dare you? I mean, it just seems like more of the thing that you would snack on. Okay. Ooh, bear paws. Oh, uh, uh, mm -hmm. lion's breath. Mm -hmm. Funny Fred. Boot sniffer. Water lungs. Toenailless Ned. Foot fungus Fred. Oh, nice, realistic. Thank I like you that. very yeah. much. Yeah, I like to embrace the grit of the trail. Mm, yeah. <gasps> Gritty Greg. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. Love that gritty yeah. Greg. I'm so glad we figured out my trail name. Yeah. Wait, that you mean my trail name? Not if I get to the trail first. Wait, hey! Okay. <laughs> what are you? John! That's gritty Greg! Ah! No! John! I'm gritty Greg! <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, hey everybody, I'm John. I'm Brandon, and this is The So-and-So Show. We have got a great day in store for you today. Uh, starting now, please welcome someone who knows stuff. Yellow. <laughs> I hope you boys are hungry. Oh, of oh, course, yeah. of course, <laughs> always. Come on in, come on in. Hey. Uh. So uh, tell us who you are and what you know. Well, I'm Patty Cake, <laughs> and I know all about patties and cakes. Oh, how about that? Yeah. <laughs> Been cooking them up for the guys and girls on the AT for the last 30 years. Whoa, whoa what's the AT? The Appalachian Trail. Oh. But the hikers ain't got time to say the whole long name like that. They're busy hiking. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. So, Patty Cake, I, I just have to ask, uh, did your name inspire you to specialize in patties and cakes, or <laughs> is it a nickname? Well, it's sort of a chicken and egg type of situation. Which came first, Patty Cake or the patties and cakes? I'm pretty much a trail legend at this point. A trail legend. Yeah, so uh, what made you want to cook for hikers? Well, they're always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I can tend to 20 miles a day. Ooh, that's a lot of hiking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it takes a lot of fuel to keep them going. Yeah. That's where I come in. Patty cake to the rescue. Well, you know what? That's very kind of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know, the hikers are always so grateful. It makes it even more fun to cook for them. Mm. Hey. You want to taste some of my specialities? Uh, uh, of course. Yeah. All right. All right. Woo. There's that. All right. A little cutting board here. Mm -hmm. And that. All right. Now, first off, my famous potato patties. Ooh. This guy here is already baked, so half the work's already done. Oh. The trick to a good potato patty is a good, smooth mash. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. And then I mix up the mashed potato with my very own secret recipe. Oh. Right <laughs> up. And here's the patty. How did you? I told you, I'm a trail legend. <laughs> oh. So good. Perfectly crispy. Mm-hmm. Now, just imagine eating that after you've been walking through the woods and the mountains for the last eight days and all you had to eat was granola bars and beef jerky. It's... Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, son. Uh, 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 <laughs> now, you're doing a good job out there on the trails. You just got to keep at it. No, thank you. Wow, you feed hikers? And you encourage them, and you're a saint. Oh, angel, actually. That's what they call people like me, trail angel. Oh, oh well, that's an accurate description. <laughs> you go above and beyond in kindness to people on the trail. Uh, well, now, am I mistaken, or did you mention something about cakes? You want cake? Oh, yes, please. Well, all right. Now, 
My chocolate cake is my most popular. <laughs> Less people are craving fruit. And then it's vanilla mm -hmm. with strawberries. Ooh. Ta-da! Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. Wow, you've really outdone yourself, Patty. This is my new favorite cake. I need this on my birthday. Well, you know where to find me. Mm. Hit the trail on your next birthday and I'll be uh, waiting there with a slice for you. Oh, sweet. Y'all enjoy the rest of the cake. Mm. I got to get going. Mm. Mm. But thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. Hey, mm. coming. Yeah, thank you, Patty. All right. All right, see you on the trail. Mm. Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> wow. A trail legend. A trail angel. Wow. There's only one way to follow that. More cake. Yeah. Oh, it's Bible story time. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. Y'all ready to do some learning? That was weird, but yes, always. Sorry, sometimes when I'm overly excited, I talk in different accents. Oh, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. So, what Bible story has you so excited? Great question. I always get excited when we're learning something Jesus taught. And today, we're looking at part of one of Jesus' most famous sermons. It's known as the Sermon on the Mount. During the sermon, Jesus taught people how to be kind and generous, how to love people they don't get along with, how to pray and to not worry. And honestly, a whole lot of other things too. It's way too long for us to learn about every part of what he said in one day. So today we're going to just read one thing. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 41, Jesus said, Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Go two miles with them. Cut! 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 No, no, no! What was that? Uh, hi, who are you? Who, who am I? <laughs> All right, sometimes I get so caught up in my art, I forget to introduce myself. I am Alex Otour, film director, emotion extractor, masterpiece maker. Great to meet you. Now let's hear the verse again, but this time with passion, oomph, don't just say it. I want to see that you believe it, all right? Action, passion, oomph. All right, okay, passion, Oomph! I, I can do that. Okay. Jesus said, Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Go two miles with them. Cut! 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 Okay, that was nice, I'll admit. But it's still missing something. Oh, really put yourself in the shoes of this person. What was it like to be forced to go one mile and then choose to walk two miles? What did that do to your soul, to your relationship, to your feet? I want you to walk this time and make it, make it molasses that you have to walk through. Sticky, stubborn, smelly molasses, all right? Okay. It smells, smell it. Smelly molasses. Action. Okay, S suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Go two miles with them. Cut! Cut! Better. But your voice is too low. The molasses is slow, but you are not. Higher pitch. Higher pitch up here. Up here, let me hear you. Higher pitch. A higher pitch. Higher pitch. Excellent. Yes, that's what I want. Yes, again. Higher pitch. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Go two miles with them! I love it! It's like, it's like a tiny little chipmunk ready to sprout its wings and fly. Chipmunks don't Exactly, have... it wasn't quite there, but still beautiful. We need something to transform your performance from a chipmunk to a bird. Something. Wow. 
well, while you think of what that is, um, let me give you some idea of what this verse might mean. At the time Jesus said this, the Jewish people were being ruled by the Romans. And there was a law that a Roman soldier could pick anyone at random and force them to carry all their heavy gear for a whole mile. I'm talking 60 pounds worth of armor, weapons, cooking supplies, and more. That would have been really difficult. One mile was the law, but Jesus was telling his followers to go two miles. I've got this. Nice. Now, you are there. You are on a Roman road, and you, um... Mm. Hold this. <coughs> okay. Let's hear it again. With a big smile on your face. Hi, bitch. Molasses. <laughs> yes? Uh -huh. Okay, action. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, bitch. Molasses. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Go two miles with them! So close! So close! So very, very, very... So close. <laughs> Jesus wanted his followers to go that extra mile because it was kind. But there was more to it than that. Doing more than what was required made Jesus' followers stand out from everyone else. It pointed people to the love and kindness of Jesus. When we follow Jesus, we can stand out from the world around us by the way we love and serve others. Ooh. Ah, oh, 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 yes, that's it, you have to sing. Sing, 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 sing. on the wings of eagles, sing, yes. Saying, please not again. <laughs> Please not again. Hey, bitch! Hey, you bitch! Suppose someone forces you to go one mile, go two miles with them! Yes! Yes, that's it! You are flying, Alex O'Tour! You are a genius! You are also quite good. Fly! Fly, my little <laughs> egret! Fly! I'm okay! Ouch. Okay, back to you guys. Well done. Yeah, you take direction like a pro. Thanks. I love the lesson Jesus taught. It, it's one thing to be kind by doing what you're asked. Yeah, yeah, but a whole other level to do more than you're asked. That's right. Jesus is kind to us in extraordinary ways. He even gave his life for us, and he teaches us to spread his love and kindness to the world. So awesome. Hey, thank you. You bet. See you next week. Adios. What was that? That means goodbye. Oh. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to start working out more if I'm going to be walking two miles with people all the time. <laughs> all right. You know, Jesus wasn't just teaching about walking. I mean, we aren't being forced to carry a soldier's gear around today. It's a metaphor. Great. Right, we can go the extra mile, metaphorically speaking. That's it. Yeah. Like, can you imagine if your mom asked you to put your dishes in the sink and then you chose to clean off the whole table? Yeah, your mom's brain might explode. Oh no. Again, metaphor. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Reveal the question. Oh good, when have you been surprised by kindness? Yeah, when did someone go the extra mile for you? Maybe it was a special gift out of the blue. Or someone you didn't expect invited you to sit with them at lunch. Yeah, there are so many ways people can be kind, and it's extra fun when you get surprised by it. Yeah, I bet hikers on the AT are surprised by Patty Cake's kindness when she cooks for oh, them. Oh, I know? bet so. So what about you? Share your story with somebody, and we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. This was the so-and-so show. I want more cake. I do too. Patty! She's on the trail, man. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, but Gritty Greg will catch up. No! I'm Gritty Greg! Oh! I'm Gritty Greg! I just need more. You know, more of the thing, the thing. You know what I'm saying? Think, uh, think cheetah mixed with a parakeet. Go. 
Can you just cry while you say the line? <laughs> it, no, it's not a sad cry, it's a happy cry. <laughs> Picture a sunset. Tell me with your face what it looks like. Happy, sad, turtle, rabbit. A turtle rabbit. Now he sees a sunset. Okay. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.